What to do, Vinyl Community? It is I, Brian, that's B-R-I-A-N, and this is what I have so far. Blue Note Classic Series. I have a good amount of uh, these Blue Note Classic Series reissues. So many killer stuff on the, um, you know, on the, what they've been putting out. Can't wait for the, you know, next ones to come out. But uh, here are just, here's everything that I have so far for Blue Note uh, Classic Series. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And to those who have, you know, been watching, y'all know that I've been putting out some What I Have So Far videos. I put, I can't even remember how many I put already, but yeah, this is another um, addition to the series i guess so yeah let's get started these uh records that i'm about to show y'all are in no particular order again took them off my shelf um and yeah so starting off with this one this is lee morgan's caramba yeah this was originally put out um uh, on that uh liberty label uh or press I guess and yeah they uh, this is a awesome you know Latin type Latin style record that has feet that has a uh, Lee Morgan and by the way um this is a gatefold very interesting Lee Morgan right there. Love the music on here. Uh, it's got Lee Morgan on trumpet, Benny Maupin on tenor sax, Cedar Walton on piano, Reginald Workman on bass, and Billy Higgins on the sticks. Yeah. So there is a total of five tunes on here. Very killer stuff. This is, you know, later Lee Morgan. Um, let's see originally released in 1968 so yeah awesome stuff so happy that they put this out next up let's see what we have here oh herbie nichols the prophets are uh, the pro prophetic herbie nichols um this is a they put out volumes one and two these were originally on the 767 Lexington Avenue and this is another gatefold but this time I have mines in a shrink wrap I'm not sure if I want to you know um get uh you know teared off been thinking about it but um yeah this has this is a trio work uh both volumes volume one is on side one volume two is on side two this has Herbie Nichols on piano Al McKibben on bass and Art Blakey on these sticks. Yeah, this is awesome. Originals of this of both of these records go for a lot of money, so I'm so happy that they um put it out because not on Spotify. Um but if you want to listen to the music before buying this record, uh listen to it on YouTube. Next up we have Milt Jackson. This is one of the more recent ones. Uh, so yeah, this has the Thelonious Monk Quintet. Um, another 767 Lexington Avenue. This is, uh, yeah, early Milt Jackson on Blue Note. Um, got some killer tracks on here. So let's see what we have here. So we got Milt Jackson on vibes, John Lewis on piano, Percy Heath on bass, Kenny Clark on the sticks, Lou Donaldson on alto sax, as well as Sahib Shihab on alto sax. Uh, we got Thelonious Monk on piano. Uh, let's see, Al McKibben on bass, Art Blakey on the sticks. Um, John Simmons on bass, Shadow Wilson on sticks. But yeah, those are the musicians on this phenomenal record. 
Um, before they announced the this uh, release, I was looking. I had my eye on you know uh, early copies of this, so I'm so glad that they put this out. Again, these all of these are mastered from the original tapes by Kevin Gray. Yeah, awesome stuff. There's another one here. Time Waits by the amazing Bud Powell. Yeah, amazing. This guy. Killer on piano. This is on the 47 West 63rd. And let's check out the lineup on this. Nice, um, nice trio here. Uh, Bud Powell on piano, Sam Jones on bass, and Philly Joe Jones on the sticks. Yeah, I, I love I love anything Blue Note uh, trio. Always spectacular stuff. Um, so happy. I I was also this is another one where I wanted to get the classic records. This one out. Um, this is before the the announcement. They announced the classic series so happy that i picked this one up as well here's another one this is oh, i love this one joe henderson inner urge y'all no this is probably like joe henderson's best work on blue note this is on the new york label and yeah we got Joe Henderson on the tenor sax, McCoy Tyner on piano, Bob Cranshaw on bass, and Elvin Jones on the sticks. Um, I know that there was a Music Matters reissue of this. It goes for a lot of money now. Um, so I'm happy that they released this for the classic series. Great sounding, and yeah, I think everyone should buy it. Next up, another Joe Henderson. <clears throat> this is actually one of my favorites, um, Joe Henderson. When I first listened to this record, uh, well, when I first you know heard it for the first time ever, I was just blown away because it has. My favorite, one of my favorite uh, tunes on here, and I'm talking about Blue Bossa. Yeah, love that. Love um, Dexter Gordon's uh, version. And when I heard this one, I was like, wow, love this. But yeah, uh, Kenny Dorham on trumpet, Joe Henderson on tenor sax, McCoy Tyner on piano. Butch Warren on bass and Pete LaRocca on the sticks. Yeah. This was um, another New York label. A lot of a lot of killer tunes on here. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't. I, yeah, these are for sure my forever copies. I don't think I'll be able, able to, you know, have originals or early copies of these spectacular records. There's another one. Ooh, Art Blakey. Indestructible. This is um, on that New York uh, label address. Man, not only does this cover like awesome, but the music on here is, again, this is a spectacular um, Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers album. Um, love everything Art Blakey on Blue Note. Never miss. So we got here the Jazz Messengers. Lee Morgan on trumpet, Curtis Fuller on trombone, Wayne Shorter on tenor sax, Cedar Walton on piano, Reginald Workman on bass, and Art Blakey on the sticks. Yeah, this is so freaking um, 
so freaking happy that I got this. Um, when it was out the first time, I missed it. Uh, they, they, uh, you know, they released it again. Um, this was a while ago now. I don't know if it's still back in stock, but if it is, get it, please. This is great stuff on here. Here is another one. This is one where uh, originals of this goes for so much. Uh, this is Sonny Clark's Cool Strutton. Mine does have a, you know, like a tear um, or seam split. This is on the 47 West 63rd. Has love Sonny Clark. Uh, I need to get more Sonny Clark, if I'm being honest, because killer stuff. Um, Art Farmer on trumpet, Jackie McLean on alto sax, Sonny Clark on piano, Paul Chambers on bass, Philly Joe Jones on the sticks. Yeah, so there's only four tracks on here, but they're all spectacular. Um, you know, Sonny Clark playing piano is always always awesome to hear this is again originals of, of this incredibly hard to find so I'm so happy to have the classic series all right another one here lee morgan the sidewinder yeah this is on that new york label address and uh yeah this is one where I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it because I have a nice copy of, I can't remember if it's OG or not, but I, I've shown it in a What I Have So Far video before. But yeah, this sounds freaking killer. New York label. Um, yeah, let's see the lineup here. So we have Lee Morgan on trumpet, Joe Henderson on tenor sax, Barry Harris on piano, Bob Cranshaw on bass, and Billy Higgins on the sticks. Another one where I think um, still in stock, maybe, hopefully. Uh, but um, yeah, all of these are, again, affordable. Awesome. Lee Morgan, the Sidewinder. Here's another one. Horace Silver, Six Pieces of Silver. Now, I had a, I want to say late 60s, maybe early 70s reissue. It was on the uh, Liberty. This is actually, a, this was, this originally came out on the 676 Lexington Avenue. Um, now, before this, I had the, again, I had a, you know, 60s, 70s copy. And, uh, I had, I didn't play it. I had it in the shelf. When this came out, um, months later, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get this, because I want to compare it. I compared it, and man, this copy destroyed, destroyed the other pressing that I had. I was, I was just mind blown. Like, it's the fact that, you know... Kevin Gray does a fantastic job with these reissues. I'm so glad that they're, you know, AAA and, yeah, the lineup here. Donald Byrd on trumpet, Hank Mobley on tenor sax, Horace Silver on piano, Doug Watkins on bass, and Louis Hayes on the sticks. Yeah, you got the killer musicians on here. Um, love the pictures. And I love the music. I After I compared both of them, I was like, yeah. Um, by the way, the other one that I had before this was clean. It was like VG+. Plus. Um, so yeah, decided to keep this, this one because this one outshined the other one. Here's another one. Here's another Art Blakey. This is Monin. Or Blakey and the Jazz Messengers. I've shown a uh, 
early 60s uh, pressing of this, you know, with the orange text on the side. And yeah, this is one of the earlier ones that I got, you know, when, when these came out. So yeah, this is on that 47 West 63rd label. And um, yeah, we got Lee Morgan on trumpet, Benny Golson on tenor sax, Bobby Timmons on piano. Jimmy Merritt on bass and Art Blakey on the sticks. I believe this is still on uh, in stock on the website. If uh, you know y'all are watching for the very first time, getting into jazz, this is one. This is one of the records that uh, you know that you should listen to. Start off with because fantastic stuff on here. The tunes Art Blakey killing on the sticks. And yeah, you'll, you know, surely, slowly but surely grow your record collection or your, you know, music. This is another one, Herbie Hancock, Maiden Voyage. Voyage. Um, yeah, I had a, let's see, a 75th anniversary press of this that Bruno, you know, released, released a while back. Um, only spun it maybe one time then i sold it um fast forward maybe a year two or two later this came out uh this came out actually i think either this year or last year i'm forgetting now but yeah this is um uh, on that new york label i love herbie hancock um need to get more of his stuff. Freddie Hubbard on trumpet. George Coleman on tenor sax. Herbie Hancock on piano. Ron Carter on bass. And Anthony Williams on the six. Yeah. Originally released in 1964. Um, yeah. This is awesome. So happy that they released this because um you know, when I sold the my other copy, I was like, man, this is one that I really enjoyed and I really want a, another copy. So when they announced this, I was so happy that they did. And mm, I'm pretty sure this is still in stock. So, yeah. Okay, so here is more stuff. This is Eric Dolphy out to lunch. Mm, love Eric Dolphy. Love his, you know hard bop free jazz stuff this is a spectacular record on that new york usa um stereo and yeah the lineup here we have freddie hubbard on trumpet eric dolphy on alto sax flute and bass clarinet bobby hutcherson on vibes richard davis on bass and Anthony Williams on the sticks. Yeah. Another one that was released in 64. And yeah, this is another one, uh, another record that I had, uh, you know, the 75th an anniversary and only sp spun it once and yeah, sold it. Coincidentally, I got this one and the Herbie Hancock um at the same time the 75th one and then you know when they announced the um classic series they 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 uh they released both of these at the same time so I was like wow oh by the way I also love the cover here awesome yeah this is one where I feel like uh it probably might take a little bit of time for, you know, those to listen to and like, enjoy it, because, um, yeah, just, um, just love what's on here. But again, if you're new, fairly new to listening to jazz, I think the best way to start is Art Blakey's Moaning. But yeah. Then later on, you should listen to this. 
here is another one. This is Dexter Gordon's Go. Um, only heard it a couple times before, you know, buying this copy. Um, you know, I know of Dexter Gordon because of one of the guys that I listened to in high school. And I wasn't that familiar with this uh, recording. So when I got it, I had already, you know, listened to it maybe once or twice. Got this, listened to it. This is, by the way, on the New York label. Uh, yeah, this is, this is awesome stuff. This is, um, this is a quartet. So we have Dexter Gordon on tenor sax, Sonny Clark on piano, Butch Warren on bass, and Billy Higgins on the sticks. Yeah, this is done in 62. Another stereo. Um, awesome stuff on here. Cheesecake, love that. Um, uh, three o'clock in the morning. Awesome stuff on here again. Dexter Gordon, go. Okay, we have here. This one's awesome. This is Reuben Wilson's Love Bug. This has a dynamite of a lineup here. Um, this is. So, if I'm being honest, I did not know about this record. Uh, when I listened to it, to it the first time, I was like, wow, this is one that I'm going to buy. And, you know, I tried to take off the price tag here when I, from the place that I got it. But, um, yeah, this, is, this was originally released in 1969. This came out during the uh, Liberty era of Blue Note. And man, this is, this is one that I just love, love so much listening to. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna tell a little story here. So when I first heard Hot Rod, it reminded me so much of, um, if y'all, know about the show hey arnold is a show a uh, kids show on nickelodeon that came out in the 90s and i'm a gen z kid here i was born in 01 so i hadn't i didn't see you know the show until i'd say mid 2000s late 2000s early 2010s but hot rod just reminds me of uh, of the, of the songs that, that plays in that show, they, Hey Arnold has, like, these, um, uh, awesome soul funk jazz, and it's so cool, so when I heard Hot Rod, the first track, I was like, man, this really reminds me of Hey Arnold, so the lineup here is, Lee Morgan on trumpet, George Coleman on tenor sax, Brent Green on guitar, Reuben Wilson on organ, and Leo Morris on the sticks. I tell you, Reuben Wilson shreds on organ here, as well as Grant Green on guitar. This is one where I recommend everyone to get. This is so, so good. This is one of my favorite ones of the Blue Note Classic series. I know um, Ruben Wilson has another record on Blue Note, but I'm not sure, if, other than that record, I'm not sure if, if he made more on Blue Note. I, I, I love um, this record so much. I hope, you know, Blue Note does more Ruben Wilson because, yeah. This is just a dynamite of a record. Another one here. Grant Green, Idle Moments. This is on that New York USA label. Man, was I so excited that Blue Note um, announced this, you know, at the time. Uh, I think this is one of those that 
uh, people complain about being noisy, but mine was, you know, mine, I was lucky to have, uh, a good copy. This has Joe Henderson on tenor sax, Bobby Hutcherson on vibes, Grant Green on guitar, Duke Pearson on piano, Bob Cranshaw on bass, and Al Harewood on the sticks. Yeah, all of these other Grant Green recordings. Oh man, they're uh, they're doing a tone poet of this. Hopefully, they do. You know. They release these other ones, but yeah, love Grant Green on here. Uh, is this my favorite Grant? Is this like my favorite Grant Green record? Um, no, but it's up there in terms of uh, like favorite guitar records. <laughs> I was really trying to think there, uh, but yeah, awesome stuff. Definitely uh, listen. And then here is Cannonball Adderley Something Else. I showed in the uh, what I have so far, Blue No RVG edition. I have, a, I think it's a early 60s, mid 60s pressing of this. It's a near mint stereo. This one's also in stereo. But however, this one is on... 47 West 63rd. The one that I have is uh, uh, New York. Um, they both sound phenomenal. And yeah, again, this is this is um, one that I'm happy that they re-released because it was out of stock. Not sure what the um, how it is right now but Miles Davis on trumpet Cannonball Adderley on alto sax Hank Jones on piano Sam Jones on bass and Art Blakey on the sticks not sure if I want to get the classic records edition my local record shop has one at the moment but I'm thinking of just buying more classic series records so yeah this is a must listen to. Here's another one, Freddie Hubbard. Um, this is Places and Spaces. Yeah, this is the one that I talked about in my the very first video that I made, the tunes tag. This is on the blue blue note label with a black B. And this is just a funky record. Love this. That's awesome. Love the, the the sleeve, although it's not polyline. But you know what? The the record came great. So yeah, this is uh this has killer musicians on here. Um, let's see who we have. Larry Mitzel on acoustic piano. Skip Scarborough on Fender Rhodes. Chuck Rainey, Bender Bass, Craig McMullen on guitar, John Rowan on guitar, Harvey Mason on the sticks, Mayuto Korea on congas, congas and percussion, King Arison on congas, Fonz Mitzel on clavinet and trumpet, James Carter on whistler, George Bohanan on trombone, Tyree Glenn Jr. on tenor sax. Raymond Brown on trumpet, and then, you know, you got the amazing vocalists on here. Um, see, Fonz Mitzel, Larry Mitzel, and K. Haith. But yeah, this... Oh, and of course, Donald Byrd, who does solo trumpet, uh, flughorn, and solo vocals. Yeah, later, Donald Byrd love it and just um another one where i was just 
really surprised when I first heard it. When I heard it for the first time. Donald Birds. Places and Spaces. Alright, next up we have Dexter Gordon doing alright. We have Dexter Gordon on this car, I think. Or, I'm not sure what this is. But, yeah. We have Dexter Gordon. And this is a 47 West 63rd. Uh, the original came out on. And this is one of those where I should listen to more. I've only listened to this album only a couple times. Um, but, you know, I do know the musicians on here we have freddie hubbard on trumpet dexter gordon on tenor sax horace parlin on piano george tucker on bass and al harewood on the sticks yeah so this is 61 recording um we got the musicians here jamming and yeah again this is one that i should spin more honestly because I will say the the cover looks awesome, so it does make me want to um, listen to you know the tracks and stuff. Man, did this take me a while to put back? There's like a sticker there that I took out, and I should should have not done that. But you know what? Yeah, again. Dexter Gordon, doing all right. Next up, we have Kenny Dorms, Una Mas, one more time. This is, um, yeah, on that New York address. And um, this is one that I'm happy that they put out because I've been wanting this and man although there's only you know there's only three tracks on here the music is spectacular so you got kenny dorham on trumpet joe henderson on tenor sax herbie hancock on piano butch warren on bass and anthony williams on the sticks awesome you know latin jazz um this is an iconic picture and um Kenny Dorn. Okay, next up we have here Pete LaRocca. This is Basra Pete LaRocca. And this is the, this is the earlier you know, Blue Note sticker uh, before the, you know, the circle. This is the 80th anniversary. Still mastered from the original analog tapes. Pete LaRocca, I love his, you know, his style of playing drums. Um, only heard of this record a couple of times. So I was very happy to have gotten this. This originally came out on the New York USA label address. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Very nice lineup here. You got Joe Henderson on tenor sax, Steve Kuhn on piano, Steve uh, Swallow on bass, and Pete LaRocca on the sticks. And yeah, another, you know, you got some Latin uh, tunes on here. Awesome, awesome stuff. Originally released in 1965 stereo and yeah this is um i think the only pete la Roca record that i have so i need to get more of what's out there definitely a must buy Here is another one. We have Hank Mobley, Soul Station. This is an iconic record. 
and yeah, 47 West 63rd. This is one of the first uh, records that I got from the Blue Note Classic Series. Love it so much. Um, I think, you know, for a while it was sold out, and now I'm not sure. It, they, it wasn't sold out. No, they're back in stock now, I think, is what I'm trying to say. But, um, you know, you can never be too sure. Sometimes these records will be in stock for the longest time, and then one day, bam, they're not there anymore. Or at least, you know, they're not there available for purchase anymore. But, yeah, this is, uh, the lineup here is A1. So we got Hank Mobley on tenor sax, Wynton Kelly on piano, Paul Chambers on bass, and Art Blakey on the sticks. Yeah, so I remember hearing Soul Station back in back in high school. I would play it nonstop. Just that one. So I guess it was later on when I heard the rest of the uh, of the record and. Yeah, just love it. Every time I listen to the Soul Station, it just bring back, bring back great memories. And I just love the the color and the yeah, just super awesome. Thank you, Blue Note Classic Series, for re reissuing this. Yeah. Next up, we have Jackie McLean, Destination Out. This is one that I wasn't familiar with until you know I until they announced it and I was like huh did, I love the cover like you know first first impressions love the cover and yeah this uh I think yeah this is on that New York USA um got an awesome lineup here so, first musician on here, actually, uh, Gretchen McCore the third, recently passed away, um, I think on his birthday, but yeah, may you rest in peace. Uh, we got Jagger McLean on alto sax, Bobby Hutcherson on vibes, Larry Ridley on bass, and Roy Haynes on these six. Yeah, what's interesting here is um, three out of the four tracks were done uh you know uh, written by Gretchen McCore and the other one was done by Jack McClain um but yeah this is one that's done that was done in 64 love each and every musician musician that's on here the um you know, hopefully, I know Blue Note's doing, reissuing uh, one of Gretchen's records. Hopefully they do all of them. It'd be, it'd be so nice to have them all. Um, again, killer trombonist, and yeah. But yeah, this is amazing record. Next up, more Art Blakey here. This is Art Blakey. The and the jazz messengers, the big beat. This is another awesome record that came out on forty seven West sixty third. Um, this is one that I feel like you know a good amount of people talk about, and it's just one of those that are Blakey records that I just haven't really heard of much. Um, until you know I got the the record. Let me try it on the back. Another stereo. And then, yeah, Lee Morgan on trumpet, Wayne Shorter on tenor sax, Bobby Timmons on piano, Jimmy Merritt on bass, Art Blakey on the sticks. So, originally released in 60. I think this is the record that came out after Monin. So it was Monin, and then I think this one. Um... Yeah, just uh, another awesome 
you know, if, if, if you love Art Blakey, definitely listen to everything on that he's put out on Boona with the Jazz Messengers. Just love his smile on here. And yeah, awesome stuff. Next up, one that I truly love. Uh, I'll tell you, I, I always listen to the to the first track on here, but this is uh, Don Cherry's Where Is Brooklyn came out uh, during the Liberty uh, era. So yeah, originally came out as a Liberty pressing. And man, oh man, I love Don Cherry. I, I talked about him in, I want to say when I showed the, um, when I showed the two Ornett Coleman records that comes in the box set, um, Don Cherry, this is one where I think it's going to be hard for people to listen to, but I, man, this, this is one that gets me going. This has Don Cherry on cornet, Pharaoh Sanders on tenor sax and piccolo, Henry Grimes on bass, and Edward Blackwell on the sticks. Recorded on November 11th, 1966. Yeah, Don Cherry and Pharaoh Sanders do not mess around on this record. This is one phenomenal free jazz and for its time it's like wow <laughs> when I first heard that this is one where I was um I hadn't really heard of it until they they announced it uh for the classic series if I'm being honest but yeah when I first heard it i immediately fell in love with this record this is one i think um it might be hard for people to listen to at first maybe they'll listen to it and never listen to, listen to this ever again but to the lucky few that you know have uh those ears yeah this is one that Honestly, I just need to listen to even more because I love Don Cherry. Need to get more Don Cherry if I'm being honest. All right, moving on. This is Freddie Hubbard's Open Sesame. Oops. This um this is one where, you know, I another one actually hadn't hadn't really listened to the music that much. I love Freddie Hubbard. But, yeah, this is early Freddie Hubbard on that 47 West 63rd. Um, let's see the lineup here. Lineup here. Freddie Hubbard on trumpet. Tina Brooks on tenor sax. McCoy Tyner on piano. Sam Jones on bass. And Clifford Jarvis on the sticks. Awesome stuff. I want to say this record here came out before... Tina Brooks True Blue, but um they uh I think it came out maybe a few weeks or months, but then you know Tina Brooks True Blue came out and it has a similar lineup here that's on here. Um but yeah, awesome stuff. Love Freddie Hubbard on Blue Note. And uh So happy to have this. Next up, let's see who we have here. We have Jack McLean's A Fickle Sunnis. Again, 80th anniversary sticker that has the uh, same thing, mastered from the original analog tapes. And yeah, love this cover. Jack McLean. Um, New York 
label. Let's check out the uh, the wonderful, talented musicians on here. We have Tommy Turrentine on trumpet, Jack McLean on alto sax, Sonny Clark on piano, Butch Warren on bass, and Billy Higgins on the sticks. Yeah, love your mu musicians on here. And one that I honestly need to spin more because uh, I've only spun this maybe once or twice. I've been getting so many of these classic series that, <clears throat> you know, at the time when I was, now I'm done with the, the semester of college but I was getting all these uh, records and didn't have the time to listen to them only had I guess the only times I had to that I was able to listen to them was when I didn't have class but yeah moving on this is Judah Hips with Zoot Sims this is um yeah J Judah Hip is a female pianist and this is this was early on. This is seventy or seven sixty seven Lexington Avenue. Um, I know there are a couple other Judah Hip Judah Hip records on Blue Note, but they're so hard to get. They're expensive, and I see them sometimes on eBay. But the results, the the auction results are insane. Uh, anyways, the lineup here is Jerry Lloyd on trumpet, Zoot Sims on tenor sax, Judah Hip on piano, uh, Ahmed Abdul Malik on bass, and Ed Thickpen on the sticks. Yeah, I really love Judah Hip's playing, piano playing. Um, again, I feel like. Blue Note should reissue the other Judah Hips uh, records because, yeah, I I'm not sure if, um, I'm not sure if they were ever done on the Music Matters Jazz. I hope not, so that way we can maybe get, maybe we can get, uh, you know, maybe a Tone Poet, or if not, the classic series reissues are great. So, next up, Herbie Hancock, Taken Off. This is one that I really wanted to get. I remember seeing one at Amoeba um, reissue, but at the time I didn't know that this was, um, I didn't know actually whether it was a uh, um, classic series reissue, or if it was, um, you know, early 2010s reissue, that's, you know, not analog, but this is on that New York label, this is, uh, very, very young Herbie Hancock, I think he was only, I want to say 20 years old, 20 two maybe so the lineup here is freddie hubbard on trumpet dexter gordon on tenor sax herbie hancock on piano butch warren on bass and billy higgins on the sticks yeah this is uh the first herbie hancock record his first record on blue note um you got the iconic watermelon man track here and yeah I mean this is a spectacular record so happy to get it um, maybe one day I'll maybe find an original that'd be nice but for the meantime don't mind having this awesome reissue next up we have Kenny Burrell's Midnight Blue I have a classic records press of this 
um but you know i got this before having the classic records this is on that new york label um both of them sound great and yeah this has stanley Turretine on tenor sax kenny burrell on guitar major holly jr on bass bill english on the sticks ray barretto on conga and yeah originally released in 1963 um i think this is one in which kenny burrell has said that he does not like not his favorite record that he's done although you know people love it but yeah um is it my favorite kenny burrell record no but this is uh, awesome to have, and yeah, kudos to Blue Note for reissuing this. Next up, I have here, Freddie Hubbard's Ready for Freddie. Love this picture. Um, this is another one where I didn't really know much about, um, so I was really looking forward to buying this release um on that new york label let's check out the musicians on here let's see here we have freddie hubbard on trumpet bernard mckinney on euphonium wayne shorter on tenor sax McCoy Tyner on piano, Art Davis on bass, and Elvin Jones on the sticks. Yeah, originally released in 1961. Again, this is one that I'm so happy to have. This is funny. I had a dream one, one day. This is before this came out. I was at a library, and they had like a, they had like a vinyl section. And I had a ton of jazz stuff. And I saw this in my dream. Like an original of this. And then when I woke up, you know, in my dream, I, I got it. And when I woke up, I was sad. I was like, oh man, this would have been nice. But yeah, this is one that I think everyone should listen to and own if you, you're a Freddie Hubbard fan. Okay, next up. Here I have Wayne Shorter's Speak No Evil. This is one that I missed out in the first run. Um, this was out of stock for, I think, months. And there were times where I was like thinking of, you know, buying it on eBay or Discogs. But I was like, nah. This, this is one that I'm just going to be patient and wait it out. And then, yeah, they came, they, they announced that they, these were back in stock and I was so happy. This is on the New York USA. Another iconic cover here. This is lovely. Um... So the lineup for Speak No Evil is, has, it has Freddie Hubbard on trumpet, Wayne Shorter on tenor sax, Herbie Hancock on piano, Ron Carter on bass, and Elvin Jones on the sticks. Hoping that, that Blue Note, the classic series, do a reissue on this, and this one too. Uh, I slightly know about this record. Need to listen to it more. But this one... Man, I've been seeing it all over on uh, Instagram. And I'm like, man, I really need to get a copy of this. But, yeah. Happy to have this. Um, again, all of these records are incredibly great sounding. Amazing. Um, I know some people have, have the Music Matters 
edition of some of these that I've shown. And I've said that, you know, they're, that's, some of them have said that the music matters sound a bit better, but the classic series sound also amazing. And for what it's priced at, you should definitely get them. But uh, last but not least, I'm going to show you all, you all this. This is Bobby Humphreys, uh, Fancy Dancer. This is one that I wasn't that familiar with. Um, this is on that blue label with the black B. But Bobby Humphrey is a spectacular female musician. Um, this is a nice, funky record. Has a ton of awesome uh, vocals as well. But, um, yeah, just love what she does on here. Um, this has, again, this is gonna, has a pretty big lineup, but let's get it. So, we have Bobby Humphrey on flute and vocals. Jerry Peters and Skip Scarborough on piano. Uh, as well as Larry Mitzel. Chuck Rainey on bass, John Rowan and Craig McMullen on guitars, uh, Mayuto Korea on congas, Harvey Mason on the sticks, uh, Larry Mitzel, Skip Scarborough, Jerry Peters on the Fender Rhodes. Let's see, Fonts Mitzel, Skip Scarborough on Avenet. Let's see, Larry Mitzel, Jerry Peters on ARP synthesizers, uh, Larry Mitzel, Fonts Mitzel on Salina, or Solina, Julian Priester on trombone, uh, Terry Glenn Jr. on tenor sax, you got Oscar Brashear and Fonts Mitzel on trumpets, uh, Roger Glenn on Marinda and Vibes. Dorothy Ashby on harp. And then for the vocals, we got Bobby Humphrey, Larry Mitzel, Fonts Mitzel, Audrey Ray, Catherine Lyra, uh, Jesse Acuna, Sonia Tavares, Rosario Davila, and James Carter uh, playing Whistler. But yeah, this was originally done on, uh, you know, later Blue Note. I think this is when Capital bought Blue Note. Uh, done in 1975. Yeah, um, Bobby Humphrey. A gem, in my opinion. I know there's another Bobby Humphrey record. I can't remember what it's called, but it's definitely one that I should get. Um, I need to listen to more Bobby Humphrey. Put out awesome stuff. And yeah, this is one that I think everyone should get for a good, you know, price. Yeah. That concludes the what I have so far Blue Note Classic Series. Um, if you stuck around, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. And I know there was a ton of records here. Hope you know, I'm definitely getting more. Um, still have enough space on my shelves to put more uh, the, for of the Classic Series. And yeah, again, all these are phenomenal records that are affor affordable, that are affordable. Um, definitely get them, you know, I don't think you should get every of them, every one of them. If But if you are, I'd say, a completist, get them. I don't think I'm going to get all of them. Um, but yeah. 
I don't think I'm going to be getting every single classic series, just the ones that, you know, that I guess interest me or, um, but yeah, that's, um, that's all I have for today. Next up will be the, what I have so far, Blue Note Tone Poets. Can't wait to show y'all what I have for, for that. But, um, yeah, if you enjoyed, I greatly appreciate it. If you give it a like, give the video a like, um, comment down below what some of your favorite, you know, classic series records are. Um, maybe, maybe recommend some that I didn't show because I don't have. We'll get them. Um, subscribe. That'd be cool and share with friends or family that'd be cool and uh yeah hope to see y'all in the next video take care